It's the most wonderful time of the year. A white Christmas is never guaranteed, but you can rely on one thing, the twinkle of festive lights illuminating the season of goodwill across towns, villages, and, well, everywhere, really. The 1960s certainly were swinging, but look at it now. Homes lit up, fabulous festive fun, and raising money for charity. And don't even think about the electricity bill. But they're raising money to help others, and that surely is the spirit of Christmas. Now, what's 95 feet and 8 inches long? Now, don't try and guess. It's a cracking entry in the Guinness Book of Records for the world's largest cracker in 1987. Three, two, one, go! It took former wrestler turned actor Pat Roach and a tractor to pull the whopper open. Well, talking of crackers, Nick met chemistry teacher Jim Judges, who was an official cracker joke writer. His seasonal job was spreading happiness and laughter. Where was Tony Blair born? In the labour ward. <laughs> right. Well, Christmas is a time for fun and laughter, and we've certainly had our fair share. Our reporters and presenters love letting their hair down, and panto fever is rife. Oh, yes, you did. Didn't he, boys and girls? No! Oh, yes. I've been recruited into the cast, and I'm about to have my first rehearsal. Sue always was game for a laugh. And staying with the performing arts, a ballet with a difference, which also raised money for charity. The Cracked Nut was a specially adapted version of the Nutcracker at the Birmingham Hippodrome. And it featured a glittering array of fellow Midlands Today presenters. Fancy a part of them. We were invited to dance with the Birmingham Royal Ballet in the Waltz of the Flowers. Funny how often we heard, don't give up the day job, darling. Now let's get back to the real message of Christmas. Back in 1985, I came to Inkberry First School in Worcestershire, where they were performing their nativity play. Well, 29 years later, the class of 85 is here today. <laughs> when you see yourself as the angel. So serious. Yeah. Oh, you are serious, Lucy. My shifty eyes. <laughs> and do you know, their kids are all going to the very same school. Well, that's it from this special edition of Midlands Today. So from me and the children of Inkberry First School, <gasps> a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Christmas!